Good evening, it's Wednesday, February 20, 2019, here in Cebu City. I'm Sherry Ann Lim, and here's all you need to know in Newsbits tonight. <music> 5.7 million pesos worth of a substance believed to be shabu was seized this afternoon in Barangay Sawang Calero, Cebu City. Although the subject of the drug bust escaped, Operatives colored the companion, a grade 9 student. Here's Justin Bastille for the details. Personnel of the Drug Enforcement Group of the Police Regional Office 7 confiscated 5.7 million pesos worth of substances believed to be shabu during a drug bus in a rented room in Barangay Sawang Calero, Cebu City, Wednesday afternoon. Although operatives failed to arrest the subject of the operation, they colored the companion identified as Joseph Bacalia. Bacalia is a grade 9 student. Bacalia, however, denied his involvement in the illegal drug trade. He even said he had no idea why the authorities arrested him, saying he just slept in the room. Authorities are still conducting investigation on the matter. Justin Vistil, News Bits Tonight. A businessman survived an ambush this morning in Mandawi City. The sand and gravel supplier believes his business competitor was behind the attack. Here's Sheila Gravinas for the details. A businessman survived an ambush along G. Owano Corner, Plardel Street in Barangay Alang-Alang, Mandawi City, past 7 in the morning Wednesday. The victim was identified as John Pernell Dinoro, a supplier of sand and gravel in Toledo City. Mandawi City Police Office spokesperson Mercy Villaro said Dinoro was on his way home after driving his wife to work. While driving, the assailants, who were on board a motorcycle and wearing bonnets, drove near Dinoro's car. The back rider then shot the front of Dinoro's vehicle near the driver's side. Realizing that he was the target of the ambush, Dinoro drove fast to the Madawi City Police Office. Villaro said the assailants managed to fire four times. Recovered inside Dinoro's car was one slug of caliber forty-five and two other slugs. Dinora believes his business competitor was behind the attack. Dinora said he has been receiving threats since 2015. Police are still investigating the motive of the attack. They are also looking into CCTV cameras that could have captured the incident. Sheila Gravinez, Newsbits Tonight. The Commission on Human Rights in Central Visayas will conduct its own investigation on the taking and uploading of a video of a dying drug suspect at the Tuburan District Hospital. CHR 7 Director Arvin Odron said they sent a team to Tuburan on Monday to gather initial information. Odron said part of the CHR's probe is the propriety of the conduct of the police operation against the drug suspect Gimbi Casas that resulted in his wounding. The Provincial Health Office has conducted its own investigation on the incident. Yesterday, the three nurses involved were terminated from service, while one midwife was placed under investigation for asking for a copy of the uploaded video. For the latest in entertainment, here's Trina Rivera. Host actress Anne Curtis shared her social media followers how she lost almost 10 pounds in three weeks. The 34-year-old actress flaunted on her Instagram account last January 31 the hard-earned results of her constant workout and healthy diet. She revealed she weighed around 130 pounds by the end of 2018. Curtis wanted to start the year right, so she made it a priority to get back to working out with her go-to fitness coach Arnold Aninian. In three weeks' time, she shed almost 10 pounds of unwanted weight, but she is still trying to lose her muscle mass. The actress also had to lower her calorie intake through vegetarian ketogenic diet, which consists of plant-based proteins, eggs, and high-fat dairy. Curtis, however, is still targeting to get her weight down to 110 to 115 pounds, so she is devoting her time in doing high-intensity workouts and weight training with her fitness coach as seen in her Instagram stories. Trina Rivera, Newsbits Tonight. 
get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Sherry Andin. Good evening.